The catalog is where you keep all your files. Up in the top left hand corner, the little neon symbol there, Luminar Neon, is actually where you can get file, edit, image. So if you didn't know, that little neon is actually a drop down menu. And the catalog is uh, where you keep all your files. When you first install Neo, it'll ask you to create a catalog. Uh, if you don't know where it is, you can go to Show in Explorer, and this is where you saved it. I usually just saved it in My Pictures, just so I know. Uh, I think the default, they put it in somewhere where it's hard to find. You can create more than one catalog, which is good. So if you've got, like, maybe more than one client, or I don't know, I don't know why you want to do it, but you want to separate, um, you know, this work from that work, you can go to Catalog, and you can create a new one. And you can call it whatever you want down here. Jerry's catalog. So Jerry can take her own photos. <laughs> so on the left hand side, you'll see that you've got a selection of filters that you can use. All photos, uh, that'll show you everything. And you can drop that down and it'll actually bring it down into the day that and the year and the month that you shot it. So for instance, here it's got April, May and June. So that's what I've been using this for three months and even the day that I started um, the photo. So this is actually the EXIF data, not the day that you edited it, the day that the photo was taken. So for instance, if I click on that, that was taken. If you look down at the left hand corner there, that was on the 2nd of June and it, it'll give you all the EXIF data here, ISO, aperture, whatever. Then you've got other things as well you can filter. Sample images, that's the ones that Neo gave you when you first loaded it. Uh, actually, you can utilize that. If you ever want to know where a folder is, you can right click and it says show in Explorer. And then you've also got single image edits. You've got recently added, uh, recently edited. Uh, but the main thing is folders. What you want to do is you want to get folders. That's how I do it anyway. I, I, I put it all in folders so I can work on the folder itself. Go to add photos and let's just add one single image. Uh, and let's just add this photo here. On the left hand side, single image edits. You can see all the single image edits that I've done. A little quick way of opening up a single image edit you can right click on the image and you can say edit with Luminar. If it's not in the list to open, <clears throat> you can go choose another app, look for another app on this PC and then look for C drive. It'll be under program files, Skylum and Luminar Neo and Luminar Neo.exe. Choose that. And now that should show up in our list, Luminar Neo. There you go. So, and press OK. And it'll open up Luminar Neo and go straight there. An even quicker way is to drag the file, drag the picture over the icon of Luminar Neo and it'll open it. Now, the main way that I like to do it is to add the folder. Let's pick uh, this one here, Zoo. This folder here, Zoo has another subfolder called Koala. If you select the main folder, any folder inside that will also show up. All the Koala photos are inside the Koala folder. So it, uh, it actually nests everything in there. So there's the Koalas down there. That, yeah, it's good like that, that it'll actually nest and put all the subfolders in the view as well. And on the left hand side here, you'll see the actual folder, Zoo and it'll have a drop down and you'll see the subfolder called Koala. If you like to organize your life in Windows, then this will correspond over here as well. Now moving over to the right hand side here, you've got a thumbnail size. You can go small. I thought, I thought that this was big, medium. Oh shit, I didn't even know. This was, you can go with super large. Huh, did not know that. So yeah, I always keep it as small because it's big enough on my screen. You can show all the photos. You can show your favorites, photos that you've rejected, photos that are unmarked and photos that are edited. And you can sort by capture time, edit time, file name, and even file type, which is good because sometimes you'll have the raw files and the JPEG files in the same folder. 
Now another way to get photos into the computer is Luminar Share. There's a, if you don't know, when you first install it, it'll tell you, it'll give you a little code to scan so you can download your mobile application. You go to File, and then here Share, and then Luminar Share. And then you can scan that QR code to connect to an external device. So, but what first you've got to do is you've got to download Luminar Share. Uh, you go to the Play Store, just search for Luminar Share. Uh, Skylum software is this one here so I've already installed it so I'll open it go to the here file Luminar share Luminar share scan this QR code to connect to an external device so go to your phone scan the QR code connected so you'll see that it's connected now so you can send photos from your phone uh, let's send a photo of this bin chicken. Send to Luminar Neo. Connected. Bang. So that's all done from my phone. So if you go back to Luminar Neo, you'll see that it's under a thing called Luminar Share now, under the folders. And there's there's the bin chicken. Bloody bin chicken. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can pick more than one. For instance, uh, uh, tick, tick, tick. Say like that. And then it'll import all of them. There you go. Then there's another folder. So it puts them in folders. Each time you send it, it will put it in a new folder. That looks like the date too. Yep, 7th of the 7th and the time. If you edit a photo and you want to save it, you go to the little top right-hand corner. You, know, you can either save it as a JPEG on your folder uh, or you can send to the device. So if you do send to device, it's going to export it and it's going to send it over to the phone bingo there it is on the phone and you can share that and you can pick whatever you want say i want to do all these three of these snakes three photos selected share to send to device oh shit these are raw files no wonder they're taking forever normally you will save it as a jpeg and then send it out to your phone and this luminar neo mirror open luminar neo and go to the edit tab to start mirroring all right no worries so go to the edit tab and start mirroring not sure what the hell that's for jerry what the hell is that for what someone can see you edit <laughs> is this live is it huh maybe you've got an editor and he can watch you edit and he can tell you no no <laughs> i don't know so you can uh, you can do stuff and it'll be shared on the go. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that's for, but um, anyway, it's there. So other than that, that's pretty much all Luminar Neo application share does. If you want to add photos to an existing folder, like for instance, this zoo folder that I had, if I want to add more photos to it, I can just drag that folder, a photo into that folder and it should come up here there you see the other way to do it is to right click on the folder import images to this folder you can also create a new subfolder over here it's created a new folder as well so it's kind of it's all linked to in windows uh, if you want to delete it delete forever now what you delete forever on lumina will actually get deleted forever over here as well. So you just got to be careful with that. There's two things though. The move to trash is different than deleting forever. Move to trash won't actually delete the file. It'll just delete it from the index and put it into the trash. So up here, there's that. It didn't actually delete the actual file itself. That's still there. It's just that it's moved it to trash. So if you want, you can just move that back to... How do you want to do that? Put back. <laughs> <coughs> crazy put back <clears throat> thanks lumina it's very plain english that's what i like that's why i like lumina it's just plain simple english that you know any dopey like me can understand on the actual file you can't delete it you can only move it to trash but here on the in the folder view you can do delete forever 
and it'll like give you a warning. So are you sure you want to delete the folder at the path? And it'll tell you the path. That's on the actual computer itself. That's what you've got to be risky. Uh, you've got to be careful with. Uh, say no to that because that'll actually delete the actual files themselves. Uh, there's also remove from the catalog. So for instance, this one, I'll remove from the catalog. Now that's the safe way of doing it. Now albums, this is albums. This is the next one. You can sort all your, um, your photos into albums. New and I call it uh, day at the zoo. And then what you can do is you can start dragging control A selects everything and you can move it and drag it into day at the zoo so 29 uh, files have been added the folder will still be there you can access it still through the folder but you'll also have created a, a day at the zoo albums you have a collection of files from different folders folders is just what's in the folder this one here in that folder there and then you'll see there you see you, you got Everything you can you can start a collection. You can start an album. That's why they call it a bloody album. <laughs> hey Jerry, what am I, what the hell, man? I'm getting confused. Uh, going back to the menu system, you can install plugins. I don't do that because I don't own Photoshop or anything else, or Lightroom. I think only yes, you do Photoshop and Lightroom. That's all that you can do at the moment. And what that means is, from Photoshop or Lightroom, you can quickly access and import the photo that you've been editing in Lightroom straight over to Luminar and it'll have all its edits with it. If anyone out there uses that, then uh, go for it. Add Luminar Neo preset collection. You can add your own presets if you buy them or download them. And I, what that means is they'll probably end up over here. There you go, get more presets. But I'll cover that in another episode. Uh, export. You've got JPEG, PNG, TIFF, JPEG 2000. I don't know what the hell that is. That's uh, st something that Stanley Kubrick invented, was it? Uh, PDF and uh, that's it. If you want a JPEG, um, that's probably the best when you want to show it on the computer. PNG, if you want to save stuff that's got transparency. TIFF, which is like kind of the, the best you, you can get to saving it as a raw file it kind of keeps the most information i think jpeg 2000 is like png and pdf everyone knows what a bloody pdf is but i bet you no one knows what it stands for <laughs> i don't either personal data file who knows anyway that's it for today's little uh intro to the catalog it's not as good as uh, Lightroom with its filtering, because in Lightroom you can filter for everything, you know. <laughs> hey, Jerry, do you like it? Do you like Luminar? Yes. Jerry, what's the matter? Huh? You want to do a little turn? Yes, Jerry, you have a little rest. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. That's uh, this little episode of introduction to the catalog system of Luminar Neo. Next one, I'll probably just deep dive into editing and what you can do. Jerry. Good girl, Jerry. Huh? What's the matter, huh? You're tired. You're sleepy. Jerry. Good girl. You want to watch some YouTube? Yeah.